Amy Alperton and her boyfriend were driving from Monroe, Louisiana to Houston, Texas, when the Houston police officers pulled them over for failing to signal a lane change. And so the police officers, when they pulled them over, they asked to search uh, their car because they suspected uh, Amy and her boyfriend of possessing drugs. Amy knew she didn't have any drugs and knew that she was innocent, and so she let the police search her car. Unfortunately, the police found a crumb of evidence uh, on the floor of the car, and after administering a roadside chemical test, um, it identified that crumb as having uh, traces of cocaine in it. And so, although Amy felt that she was innocent, uh, she was arrested and taken to jail. Um, in jail, the defense attorney uh, tells her that the DA's office um, is giving her a plea deal. The plea deal is that if she pleads guilty to this felony offense of drug possession, that she would get a 45-day sentence, and then, but she would most likely only serve half of that. Now, Amy Albritton, along with thousands upon thousands of other Americans, take this deal. So she takes the deal, she gets the 45-day sentence, and she only serves 21 days. However, after the 21 days, she was fired from her job of managing properties. It was a good job that she had. She was fired from that job, and now she has to look for a new job with felony on her, with a felony on her record. And this proves to be near impossible. Um, and she's reduced to menial jobs uh, and low-paying jobs for, for years and seemingly forever. However, years later, literally years later, the crime lab tests that crumb of evidence and they find out that it had no controlled substance in it at all. And so the real question that I have, right, not only are fel people with felonies, um, uh, is it hard for them to find a job, but who are the people who are taking these plea deals in the first place, right? And so the people who are most likely to take these plea deals are people who have public defenders assigned to them. And so those are most likely to be poor people or poorer people, right? And then one of the bigger things that get taken away from people with felonies on their record is their right to vote. And so what's happening is that, oh, I forgot the whole drug test part. 